dealing with this morning. What do we do with these internet attacks? How do we answer them? I have to just be very plain up front that there are so many counterfeits, you will never be able to combat the counterfeits by studying the counterfeits. We don't have time to cover every uh, internet accusation, but I'm hoping that the time that we do have will give you enough uh, uh, confidence in the gift of prophecy and, and give you an understanding of where these internet attacks come from, because uh, so they're all of the same flavor. You see, Satan also tries to neutralize our efforts by secular diversions such as competitive sports, internet, social media, television, entertainment, and so many other distracting activities. Don't cast your pearls before swine. You talk about the social media, you've got everybody known to man out there involved. Why would you put your pearls out and why would you argue with those people? I mean, keep your stuff to yourself. Matter of fact, there's a lot of Christians going to the internet instead of the word of God to base their Christianity off of. And what happens is, this is not what God said. The internet is not always true. But let me tell you something that, that is always true. That's the word of God. Amen. The internet has become the tree of good and evil knowledge. There is an abundance of poor and faulty research on the internet. Much of it is due to the inadequate resources and uneducated guesses when filling in the blanks. Because what you, with the phenomenon that occurs on the internet in particular, and with apostates uh, and, and people who, uh, who, who have left the church and now seek to destroy it or criticize it, is a twisting and a ridicule and a denigrating of the religious beliefs of, of Scientologists. And so if you want to talk about the words or the stories or the information that's on the internet to a Scientologist because of what you were found or what you were directed to or what you went and found on the internet is to fall into the trap of hate. There's a small amount of people who are talking about what they think Scientology is. They spread it on the internet and then other people read it and they think, oh, that must be what it is. As a Scientologist, you are not only encouraged, you are really had your arms twisted, or have your arms twisted, never to look at media. You see a church story in the church, turn it off, because it'll only destroy the gains that you've gotten up till now. So avoiding apostates means that we will not allow them into our homes by reading their literature, watching TV programs that feature them, examining their websites, or adding our comments to their blogs. So don't be bogged down with these apostates and be careful on the internet. Uh, we were talking about that this weekend with friends. Uh, my word, uh, how many times do I have to tell you, be careful? You know, going here, going there, they'll suck you in. See, uh, some of this stuff, it can seem so innocent. We're just warning you that all we can do is admonish. Stick with what we have authorized. You'll be safe. Stop. Doubting. He didn't say it's okay if you're a little slow. Slow to doubt. No, stop it. So that's Jesus' counsel there. Stop doubting. Uh, we don't have a legitimate basis for doubt. Doubt has to be rid from our minds. Whatever it's about, uh, convince yourself, go back over why you came in the truth, the unity we enjoy doctrinally. We're not saying, I'm not saying that those things that might cause us to doubt are not true. I'm saying despite that, we must believe. We have to believe our belief, and we have to doubt our doubt. First, doubt your doubts before you doubt your faith. Some have immersed themselves in internet materials that magnify, exaggerate, and in some cases invent shortcomings of the church leaders. Then they draw incorrect conclusions that can affect testimony. I testify that Joseph Smith was a prophet of God. Settle this in your mind and move forward. There's nothing noble or impressive about being cynical. Skepticism is easy. Anyone can do it. Why then would we trust our faith and our eternal souls to websites that contain information posted by ill-informed bloggers posing 
as experts and predatory propagandists who seek to destroy faith. We might remind a sincere inquirer that internet information does not have a truth filter. Some information, no matter how convincing, is simply not true.